Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm basically doing this for one person, but you might gain a little bit out of it. Uh, a young lady asked me to draw a easel for a poker chip holder for her parents' 55th wedding anniversary, and this has not been sanded or cleaned up. I just ran out to the shop and did it real quick, but it just kind of looks blah and plain jank because the poker chip is a really nice chip, which he did, uh, designed it or whatever. So... I thought I'd add a little bit of pizzazz, and I told her I'd make a video on how to do it. And so here I've made a little pizzazz, what I'm going to call it, and everything in gray is going to be the easel. So you're going to have a little bit of more better looking item. So let's just move that out of the way for a second, see if we can't reduplicate that. And then always take your items and control D and make a duplicate of them. So you'll still have them. And then take your main part of the A-frame and, and hit P on the keyboard. Let's get rid of the circle for a second. That's the chip. And this is the way I would do this. And you can play around with it and do whatever you want to do. But our deal is like almost four inches wide. So we're going to change our nudge factor to four. And we're going to ungroup this. And we're going to take these three. These are very important. They need to stay where they're at and go to group or control G. And then we're going to get them out of the way. Now we're going to take our item and go to effects, contour. We're going to contour point two, two steps and hit apply. Now you're going to get three steps. So you need to go to object and break contour apart. And now let me bring in, well, Here's the other one. Whoop. Just kind of remember what I did. Because you can't. This has to be solid because there's your two pegs for holding the chip and there's your leg. So we need to bring these back in for just a second. And then this is what I would do. I would take a two point line. Hold down your control button so it's parallel and just stay on the outside of those lines. Okay. Then take your smart fill tool and fill that in and move it over. Fill that in and move it over. Now we can get rid of these other lines. We just need the interior part. Now let's take these and left click no fill and move them right back and there you go you've added a little pizzazz to your drawing and there's a lot you could do i mean even with the old way uh, you could engrave on there but she's got such a unique chip you don't really need to do that uh, you know you could text a path right here or something but if you don't like that plain jane easel uh, add a little pizzazz to it and if you didn't have the interior parts and um, you could actually do a little bit more, but you need to keep this piece solid. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.